Yo, what is up there, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. We're back at it again. Melly Mel has released his <laughs> second video of his newly podcast after going after M. He started his podcast. He released episode number one three days ago. And he released the number one just a day ago. We're going to listen to his podcast. It is nine minutes long. Now, in this second video, I don't want Melly Mel, I don't want to hear nothing about no list. Because in your response video, you said you didn't care about no list. Um, because Billboard is not hip hop and you don't care about that stuff. So, and they don't have the credentials. So you should not be pressed today. In your second video of your podcast, after going to M. M is the energizer bunny for anybody's career or anybody that needs some blasting off. You need a little energy to, to, to launch you. <laughs> He's a gas station, man. All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and play. Let's listen. Let's just listen to this first episode. You're listening to the golden voice of the legend king himself, Grandmaster Billy Bell on Billy Bell's Hip Hop Corner. Rah! Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. It's the one okay. the king of hip hop himself, Grandmaster Billy Bell, aka the legend king, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, man in the Library of Congress. Starting off our second episode, Billy Bell's Hip Hop Corner. Two. And what I want to say right now. Hip hop is something we started with nothing, but we didn't start it for nothing. So with that being said, I would like to give a super big shout out. Uh, my brother stood up strong and tall for me, man, and I, I really, I really appreciate him. I, I, I really appreciate my brother Chuck. He, he stood up strong and tall, man, and, and, he, and, he, and he showed me, you know, uh, the true man that he is. I like to give a, a big shout out to Fat Joe for his uh, his words of advice. Oh, Fat Joe wasn't on your side on and, this uh, one. And we just want to keep it moving from there. Uh, but what I would like to say, I would like to uh, issue a challenge. Because with the list, and this is how the whole thing, uh, this whole little thing uh, got started. Uh, and, and I didn't even really go through the list because I'm not into the list kind of thing. Right. It, it has a lot of... Uh, You're not into I mean, the list. A, a hide -all so leave it alone. I challenge this guy because uh, nobody knows who this person is. I mean, it could it could be a female. Who knows? But nobody knows who this person is. So we're going to call him, for the record, we're going to call him Professor Hip Hop. So whoever Professor Hip Hop is to put together a list of, of the greatest of, of all time, 50 greatest of all time. And I have a saying that uh, uh, if you think it's 50 great rappers, chances are uh, you're not one of them. He's not. Leave him alone. To, to subscribe to the uh, Mel. channel. Mel. <laughs> what are we doing? You said one second. <laughs> In one verse, you said, yo, because I'm not really into no list and I don't care about no list. And then the very next statement is, the list is pretty weird. Where's the guy? I bet he's a dude or a chick. He could be a chick that made this list. Matter of fact, we're going to call him Professor, Professor Hip Hop. Where is he? You calling him out of his name, out of his gender. Leave the man alone. He is a 19-year-old boy in a cubicle making lists, stats, statistics, and numbers. You do not care, right? What are we doing? What are we doing, Melly Mel? <laughs> Let's just go on. What are we doing? And, and, and follow it because, see, uh, this is not only more, more so uh, our thing than actually my thing. Because at the end of all this, and, and leave it in the comment section, Leave me your top ten because this list is kind of all over the place. But then, most of the time, when people do a list, it is kind of all over the it's place. It's his but, list. Uh, at least if, if we get people that actually listen to hip hop, that's kind of knowledgeable to hip hop. You know, they could get you know, you could understand. You don't know that man, what man. An credible list would be, even though they all would be different. But you know, some are credible, some are not. So, uh, uh, oh, you know, so y'all gotta come up and, 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 and maybe you know, people need to uh, leave messages on, on Billboard's page. And uh, uh, let uh, please, uh, Professor Hip Hop or uh, Mr. Hip Hop or whoever you are, please uh, 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 come out of hiding or uh, you know, just come up the air and let's just have. A, uh, I want to challenge you to a debate 
or what the, gives you the criteria and the credentials to make a kind of list, and then what criteria are you basing this list upon? Because it's kind of like all over the place. Now I want to uh, point out. What? So <laughs> Mel is still hurt about this list that he don't care about. I've never seen someone so hurt, impressed about something they don't care about. He wants this guy, and I quote, to come out of hiding. <laughs> Pull up and debate me. That's what he said. He want the billboard kid the, the, the doing the stats and numbers and stuff to come out of hiding. Now the guy's in hiding. <laughs> now Melly is insulting this guy's gender, his manlyhood. He's in hiding. And he wants him to pull up. Come debate me about the list. I don't care about your freaking list. No, get over here. Melly Mel, Grandmaster Flash, Scoobot to Doobop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Somebody else said, I need to show more respect. What am I doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? No one understand what I'm saying, how this is so ironic. He don't care about these lists. Why is he so pressed? He would not have a podcast, guys. He would not be doing this video if Eminem was not on that list. Ain't that funny? If Eminem wasn't on that list, we wouldn't have got this from Mel. And Mel, you know it. And that's messed up. But I got, let's, let's play, let's, let's just go on. Let's. And I just want to give a big shout out to, to Buster. No, I'm, period. I'm, I am y'all child. I'm, I'm a big son now. But I'm y'all child. Y'all the ones who gave me the ingredients. This is Buster Ron talking about Melly Mel. Y'all gave me the seasoning. Y'all gave me the recipe. And I followed suit and never deviated. It's like uh, I, and I'm putting together my own little category. And, and it's called, it's still called the GOAT. But it's called the greatest of any time. Because it's the kind of MC that anytime you touch that mic, something is going to happen. And that's the kind of MC that my brother Buster Rhymes is from. Anytime this brother touched the mic, and you and I know that it's the greatest of any time. I agree with that. Because anytime you touch Buster any time, you be seen. It's, it's like not it's better it's than Jay. Five, five definitely. You know, I'm in the gym. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my workout. And it's, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still looking good. So, uh, big shout out to Buster. And a, and a big super duper extra special salute to Buster Rhymes for the the GOAT award, the greatest of any time award. That's, and that's that's that's, that's the that's the Belly Bell award right there. Uh, and, and, he was and let, so and let me mad that Eminem that, uh, was over Buster. Buster Rhymes uh, being uh, number thirty three on that list. I think that's a disgrace. Here it come, here it come. Hip -hop. You got to you know got to show me with justified you know a, a great a great MC like Buster. Like I said, a great of any time MC uh, like Buster Rhymes being uh. That's Number your three. goat. Yes. He don't have to now, justify his goats, his list. Leave that tracks. man alone. On that list is uh, Jada. I mean, like I said, I'm not in the list. I'm not into it. But being that people make such a big deal of it. And, like, and, and see, He's not in the list. Is this. You're not known. You're known for uh, the chart This is being that people make so big a deal. You make him the big deal. Uh, and then when you make the list, at, at least if you would have got a couple of creditable guys, it would have... It would have had some kind of credibility, but no, I mean, the list just comes out now. I think Jada is like number 39 or something like that. Now, y'all, uh, that's that's tuning in to the Melly Bell's Hip Hop Corner podcast. <laughs> okay, you know, Jada could have been higher, he would have been is, higher. Uh, that is any kind of way, uh, just and, and creditable for you know the people's in line. Y'all put the name, put the name of the club, and if y'all could even show a picture of the package. You know, put it, put it up under here, just to, you know, I mean, it, it's Jada, you know, that, that's, that's the man right now. Like I said, the, the, uh, the people's choice, and it shouldn't be 
Jada is the people's choice. That's your choice, Mel. Stop this. That's, and that's why I'm saying, Professor Hip Hop, wherever you are, in all due seriousness, pull up uh, wherever you, you are. Come up for air, or whoever it is. Come, come up for air. Female, so sister, queen, come up for air. You a sis or you a queen? Mel on the on the on the uh, credentials and 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 you know justification of putting a list like that together. Hear this. What is it based on? What criteria? Is it based on you know songs? You know, is it based on uh? Uh, the length of a career, is it based on rhyme style, is it based on record sales? No, this is something, um, this is something that, that, that I think needs to be known just to bring some kind of credibility to the whole thing. Because as of right now, it just seems like it seems like it's a uh, seems like it's kind of all over the place. Because it's like the I said, uh, uh, go on the page and, and everybody that's listening, leave your leave your own top ten. I mean, this ain't this ain't only oh. page, this ain't only my opinion that counts. Everybody's opinion that it, uh, 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 she, Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Grandmaster Flash, Melon Mel, Grammy, Scoobop, Badoobop. He said the guy that don't like lists, don't care about lists, he wants you to leave a list. The <laughs> top 10. <laughs> I can't. I can't no more. This is, this, uh, this is a good fun podcast. All right. There you go, guys. Um, that's the second issue of his podcast. Basically, I think that's going to be my title. I think I got my title. <laughs> Melly Mel wants Billboard Dude to pull up and explain the list. He's pressing him. Melly Mel presses. <laughs> I'll come up with some title. But then, come on. How many times he said he don't care about the list in this podcast? How many times did he bring up the list? How many times he assault that guy? Or sis, or girl, or queen? He said this. <laughs> I truly want to know what y'all think in the comments and all that other good stuff. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Boy, we will see y'all in the very next video. As always, character first, keep it positive. Thanks for watching.